het mooiste we have an interview with you, uh, Joe. And, Thank you. Uh, yeah. uh, for the listeners who don't know uh, Gamma Bomb, could you tell a bit more about the band? Uh, we're a, th- a thrash metal band from Ireland. Uh, we formed in 2002. Um, we're signed to Eric Records. Um, we're kind of part of this new wave of thrash metal bands. You know, there's Municipal Waste, Evil, um, Warbringer, some other bands like that. So yeah, we play thrash, and that's about it. <laughs> yeah, that's one of my questions as well. Which of the other bands of the new wave of thrash uh, do you like? Um, I really like Mutant. They're a band from London. Uh, they're really good. Uh, there's some great bands from uh, the UK. Amok from Scotland. They're really good. Um, a band for, called Rosette from Germany. I like um, Evil, um, Warbringer. They're good as well. Uh, Toxic Holocaust. But we know some of the, like Bonded by Blood. We know them so well from yes. touring with them. But um, yeah, there's lots of good bands. It's a good band too, yeah. We met them last year. It's been nice. Uh, if we read the name uh, Gamma Bond, there's a small spelling error. Right? Yes. <laughs> Intentional? Yes, it is. Um, we're, the name originally came from the Incredible Hulk, you know, the cartoon? Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that's where we got the name Gamma Bomb. But um, we were trying to design a logo, and it was too, we couldn't fit two M's in. So we thought, let's throw one of the M's out. It's kind of like, um, you know, uh, Megadeth. Is yes. misspelled and deaf leopard, that kind of thing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's also because I'm dyslexic. So, <laughs> <laughs> first time I wrote it out, I wrote it out with one M. So, <laughs> that's why we were missing one. It's original, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's Gamma's goal in music? What are you trying to achieve? Um, we just want to be like um, the thrash metal SEDC. We want to keep bringing out um, very similar kind of style of album again and again because. Well, as like I'm a big fan of thrash bands like Exodus or Testament, and all these bands have you know three or four great albums, and then they start going downhill. You know, um, we'd rather just make the same kind of albums again and again until people don't like it. So, so our, yeah, our our goal is to be consistent, uh, write consistently good music. I think. Cool. So you're on tour now, the European tour. Yes. You started. You've been in the UK before that. Yeah. Also. How's the tour going so far? Really good. We did uh, 10 days with Onslaught around England and Ireland. Um, we've known the guys from Onslaught you know, for several years, but this is the first time we've ever toured with them. So they were really nice guys. We had great turnouts. Um, the tour was good. And then yesterday was the first, or yesterday was the second show on this European tour. So we've got another two weeks, two and a half weeks around Europe. With um, Sworn Amongst Our Friends, that guy changed in his trousers there. <laughs> um, we toured with them in 2008 with Bonded by Blood, so it's good to, good to be playing with the same guys again. And we, we love coming to coming to the Netherlands for us is always brilliant because we played lots of shows in Germany and they're always really bad, but uh, we play lots of shows in the Netherlands and they're always really good, so we like to come here. Yeah, it's nice to hear. It's nice. <laughs> yeah. um, how are the fans reacting? Uh, on the tour. Good, really, really, yeah, really good. I think people are kind of anxious for us to make a new album because our last album came out uh, the end of 2009, start of 2010, so it's two years old, really. So yeah. we need to go and make a new album, I think. Is <laughs> but um, any plans for a new album? Yeah, we we've got um, ten of the songs written and demoed so far, so it's really just finding some time. Um, to record because we've been touring and touring and then we got offered the Onslaught tour so we had to do that then we got offered this tour so we had to do that and then we go to Brazil and South America in December so we'll have to do that mm-hmm. so I'm hoping, fingers crossed it'll be January or February we'll start recording the next one but we've got all the songs written we're just waiting <laughs> hey, that's good. Uh, Will we hear some of the new stuff tonight or are we just uh, waiting with us? Oh, waiting <laughs> Because, uh, you, as you know, um, our guitar player hurt his hand, yeah, so we have a fill-in guy doing the, these tours, yes. so okay. we thought it was a good idea to do that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, how is uh, Domo doing now? He's good. Well, this is actually a funny story. What happened is, you know the way sometimes this happens in your trousers, and you have to go like this to yeah. poke it back in? Yeah. He was doing that, and he pulled his hand out, and he tore the tendon down, down here. So his hand is getting better, but the doctor said if you go out on tour, you could permanently damage your hand. Yeah. So we said, you know, take the rest of the year off and just see how you feel. So uh, we've got a new guy called John. He's in filling in for for us at the minute, and he's doing really well. So, um, but yeah, it'll be good to get Domo back next year. Yeah. Um, when, when you uh, do a new record, uh, a 
last uh, record you did, uh, you gave it for free uh, yeah. for a download. Yeah. Any plans of doing it again? Or mm. <laughs> was it just a one-off experience? I don't know. Um, it's a kind of funny, funny one downloading because I myself I love downloading because if you know if you really if you've never heard of Nuclear Assault, you can't go down to your local CD shop and buy their albums. So yeah. the easiest way to get it is to download it, you know. Mm -hmm. But then you become a fan of the band and go to the show or buy a T-shirt or a beer or something, you know. Um, yeah, for us, I. The free download really, really worked for us last time because uh, you can't buy our albums in Mexico or South America, but we get to go and tour in these places just because you know you can do you can download the albums for free online. So it it's really, really helped us. I, I'm not even sure though next time if we need to do that, we can put out the album and I think people will know that it's okay to download it for free. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. we don't have to give them a stamp of permission. Um, I'm going to go back to your. Influences and when yeah. you, when you uh, which band uh, inspired you the most? Uh, me personally? Yeah. Um, hmm, good question. I um I started off listening to bands like Ugly Kid Joe and that kind of stuff in the early nineties, Guns N' Roses, and then um, but yeah, I, as far as influence, I think it's probably Megadeth. Like I was really massive Megadeth fan as a kid and still am. You know, everybody last year Metal Hammer. You know they have an award ceremony, and yeah. we were invited to go. So everybody in the band went to the Metal Hammer Awards, apart from me, because Megadeth were playing in Dublin. So <laughs> I had to go and see Megadeth instead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, like Megadeth, definitely one of my favorite bands. Yeah. Uh, Nuclear Assault as well, because when we started Gamma Bomb, they were kind of our idols because their music wasn't too technical, but it was still good. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, you mentioned Megadeth in Dublin. Uh did you see, went to see, so I heard there were some bands that did uh, covers of Megadeth. Uh, in the yeah, there's, um, yeah, there's a cover band uh, in Cork called, um, the band's called Flatline. Yeah, but yeah, Dave yeah, Mustaine yeah. went down and saw them and yeah. he said they were crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. uh, I've spoken to one of the guys in the Megadeth forum. Really? <laughs> I think it was done uh, Don, yeah. he's a great guy, and his band Flatline are actually a brilliant band, you yeah. know. So, and they hated us for years because, um, for some reason, they thought that we didn't like them or something. But uh, yeah, I, I met him for the first time last year, and he's a really, really nice guy, you know. Yeah. And um, <sighs> what particular uh, time do you say, "Hey, I want to be a bass player"? I mean, when you listen to Megadeth, there's a lot of technical things going. on. Yeah. <laughs> well, I started off playing the guitar. Um, but I'm not really that good at the guitar, and I knew that it would never be able to be really good. So I was like, <laughs> I know, I'll start playing the bass. <laughs> but um, I've been playing the bass since I was ten or eleven, ten or eleven years old. And um, yeah, like Megadeth, a big influence of mine, and it's kind of that really fast playing. You know, the kind of took me years and years to try and even be able to slightly play it. You know. A lot of people just play do 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 kind of slow. Yeah, it's it's like, yeah, you know. super fast. But yeah, like I, that's I'm I still play the guitar, you know, writing all the gam bomb stuff because the way we work it in the band is Philly will write the lyrics and I write all the music, so I just write it in the guitar, you know. Yeah, I saw some pictures of that uh, you put on Facebook. Oh yeah. But <laughs> the guitar and so. <laughs> yeah, it's the one the one guitar, one Flan V. I've written all the gam bomb songs on it. It's a good guitar, though. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, one other question that I see a lot of bass players is the one place with his, just with his fingers yeah. uh, picking out or with uh, pick, pick Yeah, pick. Pick, yeah. pick for me because it's there's some guys who can do it though. They do, 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 do. I can't do it. I have to use a pick. But um, yeah, I like the sound that pick gives you. It's kind of like Sodom, you know that kind of Sodom, yeah. Dan Liker kind of sound. So they would be kind of my influences on the bass. That kind of attack. But uh, yeah, sometimes I like to play with my fingers if if the song is slow enough, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm not not good enough yet. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, well, can we ask uh, what kind of equipment uh, you use? Uh, yeah, um, I play um, a Jackson Charvel bass. Um, I also play a Fender bass because I've been left-handed. It's really hard to get good guitars, you know, because everybody makes everything right-handed but not left-handed. So. And you want uh, specifically uh, a left one? Yeah, I have to play a left. So um, it took me like 
five or six years to find the bass I play in at the minute, but uh, I really like it. It's great, and I play. Um, I used to play PV amps a lot, but um, I've been playing like Laneys and just different stuff recently. Um, yeah, one of the be- best things for bass sound in thrash metal is um, Sans amp. They make like a preamp, and they sound really, really good. So. Okay. Uh, and, uh, we got to the end of the interview. Cool.